Hi, I'm Eli, and I make games. So, for this week's episode of Feedback Friday, number 19, I'm covering a game from the game jam I recently participated in, the Game Maker's Cult Kate Game Jam, and then I, I just kind of looked through, found a game, and went, whoa, okay, I'm doing this. So, it's called Koi Fish Together. I think that's a pun, but I can't tell. So, it's a little game where you go around and you just try and get as many fish as you can in three minutes. It's just a small, simple experience. I'm going to put my thoughts and opinions on it. So, I'm going to start with the faults and the suggestions. Move on to praises and see where we end up. So, let's start. So, for my first, like, faults, suggestions, whatever. Uh, one of them is that the reset just kind of happens because it's like the game you only have three minutes to get as many fish as you can but it doesn't really like explicitly show you it it just kind of happens and you just got this chill atmosphere and then all of a sudden it's just like all of them are gone and now you're back down to one it doesn't feel right so adding something maybe it's like a day night cycle thing like that or you can just change the color or the saturation of the water a bit so that at, at the very beginning it looks like similar to morning light and then by the end it's like night type of light and that's when uh, all your fish go away and it's not just straight up like poof they're gone maybe it's a fade into a like a high score screen maybe it keeps track of all the fish that there all are and then that's kept as a score that's an idea or you could just do a timer and then it just fades into it adding a nicer transition would really help it because it's really sudden it i know what you did it's just you reset the scene or it's for instance it i know it works differently in different engines and pretty sure this is made in construct do not quote me on that but i know in like g develop you're just going back to that scene or in unity you're just reloading and that's clearly what's happening so maybe adding a transition between that and some way to signify when it's going to happen so that you're not just spooked would really help the game. Another thing, and this wasn't a fault, but it's more of a suggestion, and it's that some sort of enemy or thing that you just got to avoid would really help the gameplay. Because currently, it's just this relaxing little experience where you're going around and getting fish, which is nice and all. But it gets really boring really quick. I can be entertained for about three sec, <laughs> 30 seconds. And then what, there, it's just the same thing. So adding that an enemy, something to avoid, would help the game. And that it would basically make it so that now you're thinking more. It's a little bit more stress. Not much. Do not make this game intense, anything like that. That just breaks the entire atmosphere of the game. But just have something to avoid. It's that simple. It doesn't even have to be an enemy today. Maybe it's just like rocks and stuff that you just have to go around. That would, that's not doing much of anything, yet it would still just make it a little bit more interesting. And my other one, this is more or less just a visual bug. It's not even a bug. I know why it's happening. But it's basically if you just keep your mouse there and then a fish will get all the way up to it. And if you move it slowly, it kind of just jitters around and looks weird. And I know why, because it's trying to get to the exact mouse position. So when it's already there and it's trying to point at it, it doesn't really know what to do. <laughs> I've had this happen before in my games and stuff. So a simple thing to do would be to make it so that it's more or less a little area that it can be closest to. So that it won't go directly to the mouse so this doesn't happen but it gets really close to it so it'll always follow it and now this would need a lot of tweaking but it would just be a nice bit of polish that would just make it feel better so those were my faults and my suggestions now we're going on to the mandatory fun fact of the day so this week's fun fact of the day is because this game is about koi fish and we're going fish in general here how do gills work you're excited <laughs> um as you probably know you're a human i assume if you're listening to me right now if you're not a human you're a very smart 
not human and <laughs> and you see we breathe through lungs and stuff and that's how we breathe but it doesn't quite work the same way in fish they have gills now fish just like humans still need oxygen but they get it in a different way because they're in water and how gills work is there you you know what a gill is you've seen them before they're just little like almost like a little overlining plates on the side of typically the neck like area of a fish and what they do is that they'll open up a bit and it exposes little bits of blood now this blood will suck in dissolved oxygen in the water because remember water is two part hydrogen one part oxygen meaning that it can take the oxygen from the water and then it can send it to the rest of the body for energy because you might not know this you might know this i feel like most people do but all blood does is it carries oxygen so it's basically the same with little differences uh, but yeah that's how girls work that was a fun fact of the day now let's get on to praises so good atmosphere and music the game is very relaxing and i think that's something good about it the at it's the music's very atmospheric and it just looks atmospheric and it just it's cohesive it works together to bring upon this good relaxing atmosphere that you can just chill to now um my just kind of like i think something that could help the game a bit with like the good atmosphere is this is just my opinion but possibly like a fog like a bit of a fog effect and a bit of post-processing would just make it look a little nicer and it would just add to the feel the music was good nice relaxing then also nice cohesive art <laughs> the art styles it, you know the art it all blends together well the you did well on keeping things the same pixel size i know i struggle with that sometimes i know a lot of people do so good job on that and also got this again in my notes but it's just nice and relaxing it's just a nice little game i wouldn't even call it really a game because it is a game but it's, it feels more like a tech demo if i'm being honest you know it, stuff's happening but there's not enough stuff to where you go oh yeah i know what to do here's a goal here's an objective or uh i can make fun out of this it's, i will say the game it's relaxing but i wouldn't call it very fun kind of is kind of not it's pretty meh but yeah those were my thoughts on koi fish together uh this game was made by a team of people now i don't write down these people the only one i remember is um jet Paco 3 so if you want to check out his content he, he makes youtube videos i don't know if the other ones do but because i didn't this stupid and didn't write down their names but yeah so if you enjoyed this just know that you can submit a game for feedback friday and to have a chance to have me review it it will have priority if it is your own game and also just know it has to be on H.io. but yeah so subscribe to me check out jetpack03 i was doing a rhyme it's not very sublime and yeah if you like like if you don't don't and subscribe peace